just going down York Road, and I'd look, I look ahead and see the uh, buses swerving, and I just close my eyes. Nick Dowell went from sitting upright in his seat on the school bus to landing sideways on his shoulder as the bus rolled over on a winding downhill stretch of York Road. So when I open my eyes, the bus is on its side, and there's just kids all on the side where like the windows are, those clacked, cracked glass. All I remember is kind of like heading towards the a power line pole. We hit it and then I saw just everything was on its side. The bus kind of flipped on its side. The bus had just left Hereford High School with 42 middle and high schoolers when it overturned on the Big Gunpowder River Bridge. It's not clear why the driver lost control. No other cars were involved. Students described climbing out of an opening at the back of the bus. Medics transported five students to hospitals initially, four others were taken later. With all very non-life-threatening, very minor cuts and bruises, um, they were all self-extricated from the bus and were able to walk up to our triage area. The bus driver's injuries were more severe, but investigators say that she was conscious, alert, and able to tell first responders how many students were on the bus. Glad okay. Back at the school, students reunited with classmates and parents. Some students called home from the bus just seconds after the crash. Crash. She called me. <laughs> she called me. She said, um, we were in an accident. I'm okay. You can come get me. And then she hung up. I didn't know where she was. <laughs> so just thank God she's fine and all the kids are doing pretty well. And so police say that the crash investigation will include interviews from everyone who was on the bus. Counselors will be available at both Hereford Middle and High Schools tomorrow. Reporting live in Parkton tonight, Kyrie, WBAL, TV 11 News.